bad joke. He don't seem broke. The only red flag. He said he don't vote. This, this, this midterms for all the single cute. Wanna hit this booty, gotta do your civic duty. No voting, no love. Nobody's gonna deal with you properly until you respect yourself. The reason why them black women or BLK felt comfortable enough to let a, a gay dude deliver that message to black men is because they do not respect us. I guarantee you, if they was thinking about doing that, targeting Latino men, Mexican men, they would have never got a gay dude to do it. If they was thinking about targeting Asian men, they would have never got a gay dude to do it. If they were thinking about targeting white men, they would have never got a gay dude to do it. They don't respect us and that fact alone that they will put something like that out in the public sphere that's targeting us, making it seem like we just all just A-OK -okay with homosexuality is one of the main reasons why y'all bet not ever support black women plight again. No, don't do it. Don't do it. So to continue on my You Thought We Forgot tour in my reaction videos to the election, I want to bring you back to 2022 when the dating app, the black dating app BLK, hooked up with Trina and some creature called Saucy Santana and decided to do a video that's supposed to encourage black men to get out and vote. It was during the midterm elections, right? And I remember back then when I heard it, the name of the thing was No Voting, No Fucking, right? And when I heard it, before I knew that they had this Saucy Santana dude in it, right? When I first heard it, I was like, that is very, very disrespectful. But then when I heard that they let a gay dude deliver that message, I was like, wow, they really went there. <laughs> they really went there, huh? They are really trying to make homosexuality synonymous with being black and black women are complicit in doing this this is why when you out there talking to these liberals and they go to talk about the lgbt stuff and they look at you because you black they automatically think you're supposed to support that stuff and they get shocked when you say man i ain't down with all that but you black what you what, what that's supposed to mean but i'm black so because i'm a black man i'm supposed to be for that shit. this ain't got nothing to do with me you know what I'm saying, being black. And then the reason why they, they are trying to make this synonymous with being black is because black women are doing it. They're pushing that. Because remember now, during the 60s and stuff, all of the black women that abandoned the black liberation movement and went joined feminism, all of them were lesbians. And they are the ones that, that, that transitioned or brought black women into the, into the whole gay community fold as a support system for the gay community. At that moment, the black women no longer supported the plight of black people. They supported the plight of white lesbians. Ooh. That was, that, that, that was that, that's what it was. And right now today, we are dealing with the residual effects of that decision. So when I, when I seen the thing, I finally looked at it, you know what I'm saying, before I did this video, I finally looked at it for the first time. And I mean, it's horrible, man. The gay dude actually have what he opens the verse up. And this dude said, if you want to hit this booty, you gotta do your civic duty. Come on, man. Are y'all gonna play us like that, bro? And 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 black women, none of y'all had a problem with that. Y'all thought that was cool, man, to make us look like like we just we all inherently just homosexuals, right? You know, all black men just 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 a bunch of just, just a bunch of fuckboys waiting to come out the closet, huh? Y'all wrong for that, bro. Say, bro, man, look, y'all better not ever ever vote for these people again ever bro make them bow on their knees make them beg us you know what i'm saying make them bow and submit don't don't you ever support these people again these people got no respect for black men none zero bro zero that is one of the most insulting and disrespectful things they could have done it have been bad enough if they let two heterosexual women do that as if as if, you know what I'm saying, they got, they, they gonna withhold coochie from us if we don't go vote, you know what I'm saying? That'd have been disrespectful enough. But to let a gay dude do it, oh man, that's insulting on a whole nother level. But let me tell you what was going on, why they did this video. 
if they didn't see the writing on the wall that more and more black men were opting out of voting, more and more eligible black men were opting out of voting, they would have never done that. Obviously, this is something that they've been paying attention to over the last four voting cycles. This is why they've been trying to bring these illegal immigrants in to replace us because they don't really care about black men. They figure, man, if we could bring other people and make them legal citizens, they'll vote for us. You know what I'm saying? We let black men fall by the wayside. Black women don't care that they don't care about us because black women don't care about us. So they were always planning to, repro to replace the black male vote. It's not so much the black woman's vote because she's loyal to the Democrats. They're trying to replace the black male vote. The black male vote was something that the Democrats were not going to be able to depend on much longer. So what they decided to do was use the black woman to get to the black man. This is what they always do, brothers. Use the black woman to get to you. The only reason why we are loyal to Democrats anyway is because of black women. The only reason why we are loyal to this system is because of black women. The only reason why you red pill simp dudes all be around here talking about, man, you need to go to school, get your education, get your money. All that's because of women. You dudes don't want none of this stuff for you. You want this stuff for women. You pretend like you want it for you. But what you want is, is, is something that gives you uh, more marketability when it comes to getting a woman. And you believe that things like so, so like social economic things like jobs or status or income levels or things like this, education, you believe these things make you more marketable to women because this is what these women say online. They be lying to you. It's not true. They don't care about none of that. But you believe this stuff. So this is what you are doing. You are out there, you know, following them. You are out there following their lead. And then when you get rejected and rebuffed, you go, you hit online and join the Red Pill channels and be angry. But if you were to listen to brothers like me, the one y'all call Pookie, if you were to listen to brothers like me, I told y'all since I hit YouTube that none of that stuff matter. Cut ties with them. If they don't respect you as a man, if they trying to tell you that that whether or not they deal with you is, is, is predicated on social economics, money, college degrees, or anything other than your manhood, cut them off. I've been telling you this. Cut them off. If they make it, look, if, if they make it about anything other than your manhood, cut them off. Ben told you this. So they decided to use the black woman to get to the black man. So they do a no no fucking, no voting thing. That's just, just insult. I mean, and then they get a gay dude to do it. Oh my God. Oh my God. And black women thought that was cool. Oh my God. <laughs> black women really thought that was cool. You want to hit this booty, you got to do your civic duty. That's what the gay dude said. Don't let nobody represent us like that, bro. Don't let nobody represent us like that, man. You know, just... Have some dignity, black man. You know, that, what, what this is all about is, is dignity and self-pride. I don't fuck with nobody that don't fuck with me, man. It's got nothing to do with black women. The, my attitude applies to everybody. Men, women, white, black, other, it don't matter. If you are antagonistic towards me, I don't fuck with you. It's insulting for them to play black men like that. It's insulting for them to even come up with that kind of idea to get us to vote. It's insulting. You know what I'm saying? All of this stuff is demeaning, bro. Man, y'all better leave these women alone, bro. Until these women find some damn respect for black men, y'all need to cut their asses off. Fuck Dr. Umar Johnson, all this old black woman shit, man. Fuck that, bro. Where is your pride, man? Where is your dignity, bro? You worrying about safeguarding some, some, some crazy notion of blackness, man. We are original human beings, bro. We can't produce nothing but ourselves, man. And everybody on the planet come from us. There is no such thing as interracial interactions, bro. Not when it comes to us because we are the gods. We are the originals. All we're doing is mating with other versions of ourselves. I ain't got to tell you to go out there and get no woman of a particular race. I'm telling you, though, these black American women do not respect you. Cut their asses off. Until they get their fucking minds right, cut their asses off. Until they get online and start going to bat for you. I know they got a few, and I want to give a shout out to all the sisters that do go to bat for the brothers, you know what I'm saying? 
all the sisters that get online and do talk. But a lot of y'all really catering to them red pill weak men. And I don't like that shit. I don't want no pandering. I just need real talk. You know, you don't need to pander to the weakness in men because you're making them men act like little broads. We don't need that. We just need real talk, man. And in real talk, that whole idea was disrespectful. And it was just downright, I mean, it's demeaning to a, to a, to a, to a point where words can't express it to allow a gay dude to deliver that kind of sexual threat to black men, to heterosexual black men. You don't do that. These women are demons. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. I got more coming on this, but I'm going to stop right there, bro. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. the Black Alpha Salon.